description of the closed loop control system using the block diagram reduction technique. So let's solve the problem. So this is our problem and we have to find out the ratio that is CS by RS or we can say the transfer function of this system. So let's solve this problem. How we can find the transfer function using the block diagram reduction technique. So if we see this block diagram, we can see that there are no blocks which are in series or in parallel combination. So we have to move the summing points or the takeoff points so that the blocks they come in parallel or series combination. So we have, if we move this takeoff point which is after this block G2 to a position which is before this block, so we will divide this h1 by the transfer function this g2 it will come here and we will when we move the takeoff point before this block then we will have to multiply this h1 with the g2 okay so let's apply this rule we will get So this takeoff point is shifted to this position. And we will multiply this H1 with the G2. Okay, so these two transfer functions they will be multiplied. Now we will see that this is the forming a uh, loop, and we have to move this takeoff point before this summing point. Okay, so we will apply the rule of shifting our takeoff point before the summing point. So we will introduce another summing point here in this path and this summing point will have this function h2 as its input. So let's apply this rule of shifting the takeoff point before the summing point. We will introduce here another summing point and this summing point will have H2 as its another input. Here we were having H1 and G2 so they are multiplied. This is H1, G2. Okay, so we have shifted the takeoff point from here to here that is before the summing point and we have introduced this another summing point here having H2 as its input. Okay, now let's see what we are getting. Uh, we can see that if we shift this takeoff point before this block G1 that is here 
then we have to multiply this transfer function h1 g2 in both these branches so let's solve this so we will get we will multiply h1 g2 here So we have shifted this takeoff point here before this block and we have multiplied this transfer function h1 g2 in this branch. Okay. So this we have done. Now let's shift this summing point before this block. So when we shift this, we will divide g3 by g2. So we will get here g3 by g2 and this g3 by g2 function will be given as an input to this summing point and these g2 and h2 they will then form the feedback loop here. You can see that these G1 and H1, G2, they are also forming the feedback loop. So we can also reduce them as G1 upon 1 plus G1, G2, H1. So this feedback loop has been reduced and this we have got another feedback loop and we have shifted the summing point before the block G2. So we have got here G3 divided by G2. Now this is G3 by G2 and this G1 upon 1 plus G1 H G2 H2 and this is the feedback loop. These three will come in series and here because it, we are having 1 here, so we can add this 1 plus G3 by G2. So we will get So these three blocks, they have come up in series. So we just have to multiply these blocks and then they will form a negative feedback loop with this minus H1, H2 and G2. So first multiply these three transfer functions. So these three, those three trans, uh, blocks, they were multiplied because they were in series. So we are getting this as the resultant transfer function. And then this, these two blocks, they will form the negative feedback loop. So we can have this as GS upon 1 plus GS HS just put the value of gs and this is hs so we will get the ratio of cs by rs as this is being multiplied with minus h1 h2 g2 Okay, so the when we solve this, we will get CS by RS as these two denominator terms, they will be cancelled. So we will get G1, G2 plus G3 divided by 1. 
here we are having minus sign okay so first we will multiply this we will get 1 plus g2 h2 plus h1 g1 g2 minus g1 g2 g3 h1 h2 so this is the transfer function of the system which is given to us we have found out the ratio of cs and rs and this is the solution to our question i hope you have clearly understood this problem thank you